Hey, this is Jamal and today I show you how to render glass in RenderMan. So first select your mesh and assign a pixel surface shader on it. Go to Hypershade Editor and rename your mesh. Put down gain of diffusion and go to the glass tab. Within here we have two very important parameters such as refraction gain and reflection gain. If we put those to one, you can see our surface looks like glass. But that's not everything you need to know about it. Refraction gain means how good can light pass through your glass. And you see, if we put it down to zero, our glass is black. And the reflection gain means how strong the reflections on your glass surface are. And if we put this down to zero, there's no reflection from any light or something in this scene. Within refraction color, you can change the color of your glass. And now we are coming to roughness. If refraction roughness is set to minus one, you can affect both refraction and reflection roughness with the roughness parameter. If you want to affect those independently, you'll have to increase the number of your refraction roughness gain. And then you can affect the roughness of your glass or of your specular highlights. Down in the advanced tab you can see refractive index. Herein you can see some presets from other transparent materials like water or diamonds. And if you choose them, your glass looks not like glass anymore but like water or plastic or something else. Also in the advanced tab you can find this little checkbox here and with this enabled your glass looks thinner than before. But not even the best shaded glass within the best render engine of the world can make your glass look perfect. If you want to reach this you'll need to make your scene look unperfect. Place some lights around it and some messy stuff behind your camera which can reflect into your glass and make your glass look more realistic because of the messiness from your scene. There is one thing you need to notice in the render setting and this is default ray depth. This means how many rays can get through your glass. If we put this down to zero, you can see the rays can't get through the glass and the glass looks black again. Um, and if we increase it, you can see the glass gets more transparency and realistic from every step. But at some point you'll notice that the glass looks like it looked before. Um, the problem is the higher the number, the longer is your render time. So. Um, You'll have to try which setting is the best for your scene, but try not to increase the number if that does not affect your scene anymore. I personally put a roughness fingerprint map on my glass, but how to do this I'll show you in another tutorial. So thank you for watching and see you next time.